Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So in today's video, I want to share with you how to trade one hour chart time frame. Also, if you're a beginner because it is very quiet, it's settled and you will get good trades, good opportunity when you use one hour time frame. And if you want to start to better your chances of getting profits rather than losses, kindly watch this video till the end i have so much so much information that can help you to start making profits so guys if you're interested continue watching and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing give this video a big thumbs up and without wasting any time let's get down into the video so guys we are in one hour chat and uh, i'm in tradingview.com uh, Today I will be analyzing Euro JPY and this is what happens when you are trading one hour chart. Follow closely, most of you are a beginner, follow closely what you need to do so that you may be, uh, you may get good results. So when you open your one hour chart, let it be clean. Uh, you can right click your chart and maybe remove any kind of drawings that you may have. Let the chart be clean so that you may start all over again to analyze this market. So the first thing that you need to do on one hour chart is to identify your key areas. You need to you need to identify the key areas and mostly you are most highest and the, uh, the lowest point. So the most highest, and I may, when I say the most highest, is the place where the price hit the highest. Uh, and that is now what is known like resistance. So that's our most highest place where the price has hit. And um, this market has not been able to pass this place in just few uh, since let's say maybe a few days or weeks uh, in a previous days or months maybe it has passed but we are just focusing on what is happening maybe in a week or days um, time so the other thing that you need to mark is the lowest point so I'll just uh, come uh, let me just squeeze my chart and I mark my lowest point so my lowest point is this this area so we are we don't concentrate on what happened previously so we can start from i think uh this place it's around 27th november all the way to december so it's like we're focusing on one month what has been happening so when you mark these two places the next thing that you need to mark on your chart or to identify let me say identify is now where the price is currently and uh, and when you now identify where the price is you'll be able now to know what to do or where is the market going and as you can see that's where the market is because this is the area this is the market are still going on it's live so this is where the price is currently so you have three you have three lines the first line we can call it as a resistance and then the last line is support the center line can be resistance and it also can be can be used as support or resistance to that if this market let's say this market drops um let's say it drops it comes and drops maybe that place and then decide to retest it will retest and make and make our second line sub uh, resistance remember it has been always support now it will be as a resistance so that's what i'm saying the second line can be support or resistance regardless of where the price is going so now you have your three your three zones i i like calling them zones because you don't need you don't need to to mark so many things and and make your chart too busy remember we want our charts to be so clean so then the next thing is identify these places as key zone because this is a very important area why do we say it's a key zone is where the price has been rejected more than once so it becomes a key zone so even this place we just uh, make it we highlight it like that and then now the last one and then the last one we make it a zone because if this market drops most probably 
uh, it will come to get rejected at this zone. So we have three th zones. This is how I want, I like making my charts clean. So uh, we have zone A, we can call it, we can call this zone A. So just text zone A. So after you identify the zone, now at least you know the market is currently in zone A and B. It has not yet touched this zone. So currently this market is zone A and B. So your, your eyes should focus on this area. Another thing I would like to highlight on you guys is that you need to understand what type of a market you're about to trade. So this market, all obviously it was a bullish market and then now sellers started coming in coming in and then when sellers started coming in buyers would push the market you can see buyers tried to push this market but they didn't they were not able to 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 they they just made made this they reached here they never pushed this market to get another uh to make another high of this market so what do I mean by that? If, if the market uh, does not make a high high and remove this, buyers get rejected and now the sellers, the market structure is destroyed. So you can see what's happening when the sellers are, are coming in. They are pushing the market way down. So they push the market way down lower than this. So the, the sellers are in control. And then now when the, the buyers are given a chance to come in the market, they are unable to push the market higher than this. So when uh, looking at this chart and seeing how the buyers are getting rejected every time, you understand that this market is slowly coming to be a bearish market where sellers are taking in control. And um, even when we use our trend line and try to see this uh, seller, uh, buyers, how they are being rejected, yes, this is the zone, but even they are unable to push all the way to the zone. And now that's give us an indication. Another thing that you need to realize there, there are uh, different types of the market. There is market that is very fast and the market that is fast, if you're using either 20 AMA, 50 AMA or you're using uh, 10 AMA, uh, 9 AMA, the fastest EMA, it holds on the EMA because it acts as a, it acts, the, the moving average acts as a support. So it will hold on the 20 EMA if the market is very, very strong, bullish. So it holds and sometimes it will even go to 50 EMA. You can see sometimes even it does not come near 20 EMA. So this market is so fast and it's moving. It's a bullish market and it can move so many, uh, it can move so many people. This, it's like a consolidation of a zone to zone. There's the consolidation of where the market is not even moving, but there's a consolidation of if I take a box and just uh block this you can see this market has been in one place it has been in one place since since uh december 1st all the way to 9th december so it's like seven days of consolidation but remember it is moving around 70 pips on this zone so there are people who prefer not to trade a zone to zone market where they understand or they see it's so clear it is coming to this place it is hitting our resistance then it gets rejected it can hold on the 50 ma all the way to the zone B, and then it comes again, hold on our resistance, get rejected, come down again to our zone. And th there are people who prefer not to trade when the market is not like moving uh, bigger pips. But for me, because my target per trade is 50 pips, and this is moving around 70 pips per trade, if there's a market structure, I will just enter the trade. So for instance, as you can see here, this is where the market is. I can just delete this. If you were to take this trade or you were just to react on how the price is moving, let me, let me delete this. So you can imagine the price has come to this place. So it's either we wait for two things to see if it will get rejected. You can see already four 
candles four candles are using this place they have been rejected and four candles i mean four hours since 6 p.m and now right now it's uh 9 8 p.m this candle has been coming to this price has been hitting for four hours on this zone so that means it might be rejected so what are we trying to see so we are trying to see uh, a close of a blue candle meaning that the buyer the sellers have been rejected and this price can move upwards but remember don't even be in a rush of entirely uh, placing a long trade because uh buyers have been they have no power it can come maybe uh hit our trend line and then now again gets rejected so in this trade what am i looking i want a trade where maybe this price can come down and break this zone i i want i want where this market is breaking this zone that's what i want to look or this price come up like this this price comes up to this zone and instead of being rejected it breaks this zone and then retests so my entry should be here for long i should be entering here for long and then if this happens if it comes breaks this zone i'll not chase this market i'll i'll wait it retests to this zone then my entry will be here for short position so this is how you you don't just enter the the trade because you want you have seen red candles blue candles you have seen a a, a a a trend that is moving upward or downward you must have a market structure that is giving you an indication you can imagine before it does all this this is what me i think this market can do it can either break upwards it can either break downward but even if it breaks on the upside you don't just enter the trade because it has broken this zone no you wait until it retests so you are entry position will be at this place this is where you'll be eyeing to, when it retests this place this is where you'll be eyeing to long this market if it breaks on the downside because nobody knows what it will do we react to the market we don't predict we just react when it does something so if it will come and retest here let's say this market decides to break downwards because this place has been broken remember this market has been trending on the upside upward side for the longest time since 26th of november all the way to that november for like a whole week it has been trending upward so it is likely to come down and if it comes if it breaks this zone just wait don't rush the market just wait even if maybe even it can it can break here it can continue down if it does that wait until it retests here when it retests now this should be your entry for short if it doesn't if this market come try to retest here uh comes pull back but it breaks this zone wait it retest this zone a and then now you enter long here so this is how you unless you analyze one hour chart and one hour chart has more benefit because they are no noise uh, when you trade five minutes one minute chart all this information it's broken down to one minute it's so huge and you may miss um some information or you may judge wrongly but at least one hour has enough information to give you to give your uh, uh an overall judgment on the market structure so i really highly suggest on one hour chart if more so you're a beginner because you will not come to check on your chart when one hour has not passed if you decide maybe to take a long position or a short position at least you have one hour to to allow the market just uh take con take shape but if you trade one minute five minutes remember that market is changing in every five minutes so i highly suggest or recommend one hour chart if you are a beginner so guys i hope you have enjoyed this i'll be doing the next video for our strategy and i hope you will also enjoy if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing until next time guys bye bye love you